Hey guys, Ryan Shinier, pre Talk of Commentary. Just let it just, hey, just get out there and finish this thing. So, hey, it's gonna be the first hit between Midas and Jangbi. Or Jongbi. If you want to pronounce it correctly. On our I2 in the round of 16 of the Hana Dai 2 MSL. 2010, spring season. Aww. So, we're gonna have Midas at the lower right hand position at the 5 o'clock as the yellow Terran. We're gonna have uh, Jangbi at the upper left hand position in blue at the 11 o'clock. Protoss, of course. Um, C and Midas are the two players that I'm probably the most excited to see in this <laughs> in the round of 16. Um, just because it's so fun. Like, oh my god, these guys made it here? Dear god. Uh, maybe Baby, too. Maybe Baby as well. Maybe Baby. <laughs> Uh, I think that's a thing. Things was a type of a pill, pre pregnancy pill that a George Carlin coined. Yeah, type. Maybe, baby, a pill that doesn't work all the time. Maybe, baby. Hey. Yeah. Anyway, uh, zero, one, two. So yeah, this is definitely the type of the mine is definitely one of the players that I was uber excited to see. Oh man, I can't believe I laughed my ass off. When I when he two owed his group, I just laughed my ass off. It was so funny. Um, beat up Flash, you know, straight up TBT, and then yeah, two two rack <laughs> went two racks, two two rack early aggressive two racks uh, to follow it up to just yeah take the win home, and it was absolutely brilliant to watch, absolutely brilliant to see. It was just wow. Um, and I was saying, oh, it's. A lot of distance between the two maps, uh, so you don't, you, oh yeah, well, four player map, I think it was, yeah, or was it Odd Eye? I don't remember, remember. it was either Fighting Spirit, it was either Fighting Spirit Odd Eye. I was like, yeah, you really wouldn't want, you really wouldn't want to go two racks, it's not standard and uh, might be a little bit too much distance to carry, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Especially, I think it was Fighting Spirit, that's why I said, I was like, yeah, you, do, you have to scout out your opponent and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then he goes exactly that, he goes for two racks and wins, it was hilarious. So Jamie can go out there, gonna get the early scout. Midas Mule has not sent out a scout. I think he's actually thinking of doing that right now. Uh, Midas known for a long time as the guy who does not scout. She finally back the pole with two SUVs. Dear God, I think he finally no, still just sending us on, still not sending anyone out. Sketch, trying to fight back the pope, trying to kill that thing. Jamie just slowly flying around or floating around with that probe trying to keep it alive but we're gonna see how Midas decides to stay how long he decides to stay scoutless now unfortunately for Midas he got j just JMB is one of the worst players he could get in the round of 16 Flash would be another guy but at the same time he beat Flash in a straight up TVT so I don't know I don't know he showed some insane prowess in TVT he's a very good TVZ player as well he's apparently you know brought a lot of his old good old uh, good old stuff back but his TVP at the moment is questionable. He is a guy that uh, revolutionized certain TVP things back in the day, but it's something that was so old now that unfortunately it's not really. Uh, he's the guy that created. Midas is the one that that. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not sure if revolutionized is the right word, but he is the man that brought us the uh, fake double. So at the time it was pretty effective. You know, uh, brought a lot of. He, he, you know, kneeled a lot of Protoss back in the day, but now it's just not applicable anymore. It's not the type of thing. Oh, probably going to be able to spot the commands that are coming up, if nothing else. But I not, don't really think it's anything Jabby would not expect. But unfortunately for Jabby, Minus, I don't think he's... Uh, finally, should have sent out a CV scout at this point. Yeah, a CV scout just now going to gonna go inside the base, inside the main observatory into expansion. Going to be on, on the opposite side for Jabby. Minus a little bit ahead in expansion-wise, though. But uh, also going to lose his CV, though. So not going to be able to get up that ramp and get the scout. Um, just unfortunate for him that he face off against Jambi. Because Jambi's not at his best right now. But Jambi still is the m one of the best all-time uh, Protoss versus Terran players. Uh, who would I say are the best? I think Jambi, Stork, and Best are probably the best Protoss versus Terran players out there. Jambi and Stork especially. Yeah, it's... It's always, it, it's, yeah, they have been more of the uh, Samson Khan, the Samson Khan Terran duo, Protoss duo, more than the T1 uh, Terran duo that have been more anti Terran, even though Best is a very, very strong versus Terran player. Where Bisu's weakness was Terran, Best's weakness was Zerg. That is yet again gonna try to get the scout inside, gonna spot the Nexus, if nothing else. Probably gonna know that there's gonna be observers on the way out. 
probably knows what there are what are the possibilities of what that could be followed up with. And we're gonna see what Jamie decides to follow this up. We're gonna go for Citadel of Ladoons. Might go for some Dark, dark Might decide to go for some Dark Templar drops, but most likely just gonna rush to Arbiters. I am expecting he's just gonna rush to Arbiters. Might just get out a sizable army force. We're gonna see what that adds in more uh, gateways right now to get a sort of an army force. Try to go out and put some pressure. Pick up a third, and as he picks up a third, then go for Arbiters. So by the time he starts pumping Arbiters, you have a third mining base going. Or of course you just might go for two base arbiters. We're gonna see it's more of a, more something in be uh, that I see best go for. It's it's more one of the T ones T one protesters go for pro uh, best, and B so it's more some more their style. Additional factory is now being added in by minus just his second one so far. Only has one taken there. I think he's just now getting his siege mode going. Not going out to do any sort of pressure. He's just thinking he's playing a more conservative, safe built up archives on the way. So this could I'm still not sure whether he's gonna go for shadow and try to go for some sort of dark templar drops. Not, too, not altogether too sure, of course. If Midas is not going to be ready for it, could end the match right then and there. Midas is going to have a stronger economy, though. He's had the National Expo mine uh, out there, up and mining, and fully saturated for quite a bit longer. So Jambi is going to go want to go out there and do some damage. Academy on the way now for Midas as well, so he's going to be able to get some concentration just in case there are. There is some uh, Dark Templar action coming out of him. At the very least, Jambi is getting a full spot on this. His observers all over his base. Just no adding in the second game, but very, very late after the... After the fact of the tick. Well, that is that. Thing. Oh, Stargate. So he is going to be rushing to Arbiters. Might just be two base. We're going to see whether he actually tries to pick up a third as he does this just at the, exactly the same time. So it would be two base into two base Arbiter and try to get a third expansion. Well, he wants that expansion out there because Midas is going to be able to get in more factories. He's going to start pumping. Decent amount of forces as well. Vultures out there has siege already. So probably going to start mines and speed. We'll go up there soon. We're going to see whether Midas tries to go in there, tries to do some economic damage with that. More gateways we want to up there for for our good friend Jang, the Arbor Tribune. So he's going to go for two base. It's not something I'm used to seeing from him that much. Um, yeah, when I look at Jang, I think, think yes, I, I'm thinking. What are you thinking about? Uh, no, I'm not thinking. I'm just thinking in the sea. Anyway. Me and my magnificent jokes. I'm already up there, so might as already working the up on the upgrades. Good, good. You want to be, tr you want to try to be ahead in the upgrades against a protest boy. You want to be ahead in upgrades against anybody, preferably, but protest players. It's important. Wolch is gonna go out there, I'm wondering whether he has mines yet or not. So he didn't really want to go in, uh, try to do some pressure and uh, get get you know forced back. Gonna get a scan inside. Not sure if he spotted that Stargate with a scan. Might have spotted the Stargate with a scan, though. So, TTs are going to be on the way. As might have started to expand towards the 4 o'clock position. That's going to get stopped. But he has scan, so he's going to be able to go out there and clean the DT up. So, so yeah. JB not... Ew. Okay, just feeling the SCV smartly. Pulling back with the DT just a second he does. So, as you know, there's going to be vultures coming on top of him as, as he went for that. Probably just going to be mines outside that base now. So, the DT goes in there and not going to be able to do anything. Both players are going to put up their expansions, their thirds. Jang Beast has a 12 o'clock going, but mine is still very much ahead. Oh, one mine hitting. One scan going to go off, so DT going to go die before he can pick off the SCV. So at least nice play there from Jang delaying that a little bit. But he's still in a slightly weaker economic position just because, just because you know, he's for one thing, he's been taking up very heavily just on these two bases, so he definitely needs that third. And might have been ahead in expansions the entire time. They're going to see what they actually managed to go to the 12 o'clock position with his watch and do anything. There was a chick chatting on her cell phone and uh, drinking a slurpee or something. Uh, some sort of slurpee drink. Vulture Moon gonna go there with planting mines. Just have to be very careful not to be the victims of their own mines. But I think a uh, part of many Dragoons are gonna come in there. Gonna be able to pick off the probe if nothing else. Not pulling out any more mines and observers in the air so that mines are gonna become ineffectual. But still minus the very least. I'm just milling around trying to put some pressure. Oh god, did he? Okay, I thought he maybe got his <laughs> tank stuck in. Getting a science vessel on the way already, so he's gonna work on upgrades soon. Um, probably gonna go in for some science vessel as well because the arbiter is gonna be coming out. You want those science vessels to start.